Hello, this is Thea Emerson for Pepsi Cola. No, no, not there. Here. Oh, sorry. Hello. Hits the spot. Big, big bottle, then it's got. Bounce, 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 bounce. Go get Pepsi for the Pepsi bounce. Now go get Pepsi for the Pepsi bounce. More bounce to the ounce, more bounce to the ounce. Go get Pepsi for the Pepsi bounce. Now why take less when Pepsi best? More bounce to the ounce than Pepsi. You know, I'm having a Halloween party tonight. I thought I'd play a little game with you. Uh, if you've got any pencil and paper around, will you have the kids run and get it? Now, don't you get up, Mother and Father. Just have the kids run and get it. I want you to write down the numbers from one to four. And I'm going to show you four very distinguished guests, masked. And I'm going to talk with each of them a little bit and see if you can guess who they are. And the one in the family who wins should have a prize of some kind, maybe a nice cold Pepsi-Cola, huh? I'm going to take you over and show you our first guest, a very, very pretty lady. Come along, pretty lady. This is Miss B. Now, I can't tell you who Miss B is, but I'm going to see if you can guess. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Faye. Uh, I want to ask a few things about you. In the first place, you got a picture opening. Yes, I have. A uh, very important picture. As a matter of fact, I think it's with Clifton Webb, isn't it? That's right. And what's the title of it? Uh, for heaven's sake. For heaven's sake. Now, this should be a clue. Also, Miss B, uh, I've known for a long time. We used to have a lot of mutual friends at Warner Brothers. Miss B uh, has two children. Beautiful have. children who are playing trick or treat tonight. Huh? That's right, they are. And Miss B has done a lot of theater work, and uh, Miss B is uh, a comedian and also a dramatic actress. If you uh, say something, Miss B, because it's what? your voice that's so memorable. <laughs> what do you want me to say? This thing itches me a little bit, isn't that? <laughs> Well, you look so all right. You really do look so pretty. And isn't that a pretty mask? Looks well, like a pussy cat, doesn't it? No. But this lady is not the least bit like a pussy cat. A very bright, and very smart girl. And we've had uh, uh, a lot of fun talking about old times today. And old friends. Old friends. From Warner Brothers. That's right. She has a wonderful sparkling wit. She was in a picture called uh, The Tree Goes in Brooklyn. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's tipping it too much. And what are you going to do next? Well, I'm uh, going back to the coast again in a couple of months to do another picture. But aren't you ever going to come and stay here and get in television and do all the things you should do on television? Well, I'd like very much to do that, sure. I like to go back and forth, sort back of uh, forth. shuttle from east to west. You keep a house on the west coast, don't you? On the west coast and here. You like it better in, for the children? In Irvington, we like it best there. It is a wonderful place to bring up children, I must say. My son's on the football team. Can you imagine? Can you imagine her having a son old enough? Of course, this is not at Yale or Harvard. I must admit, it's at prep school. Isn't that right? So it's high school, and um, my daughter's a horsewoman. Oh, really? Yes. Rides, does she? Rides beautifully. Your son's name is Norman, as I remember. Norman, that's right. And your daughter's name is Ellen. Is Ellen? Yes. Anybody guess who Miss B is? Or write it down if you guess. In the meantime, Miss B, will you uh, you wait here while I go over and see another gentleman? Go ahead. You're back in a few minutes. Hello, Mr. E. Hello, Miss Emerson. How are you this evening? I'm going to sit down beside Mr. E. Beautiful party. Thank you. I'm so glad you could come, Mr. E. Thank you. Now, if I were having a party at my own house and, and say, wanted Mr. E to come and play the piano for me, I could never do it. Why? Because Mr. E is one of the most famous musicians we have, and I could never afford him. <laughs> but as a friend, he came over to my party to see if you could guess who he is. I wouldn't think of missing a beautiful party like this. Thank you. Mr. E is playing music that should give you some clue. Probably, I think, in a few years from now, when they add up who are our great composers and pianists, Mr. E will rank right up at the top. Thank you know, you. this one, Mood Indigo, is one of my great favorites. I love oh, is it? it? Ah, thank you. And a uh, sophisticated lady, would uh -huh. you say? We've got a couple of beautiful sophisticated ladies here tonight, haven't we? We certainly have. Magnificent. And of course, you. Oh, thanks. That wasn't really fishing. <laughs> Well, you can't help that, of course. Watch those fingers. Though. Did you get a look at the fingers, boys? Did that give you a clue? Mr. E, what are you doing right now outside of coming to our party? Right now? Well, we are getting ready to go to Baltimore to play the theater Friday. Uh -huh. And, oh, let's say we play Bridgeport on Thursday, too. One night after. next Tuesday, we'll be looking at you again. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> if you don't guess who Mr. E is by now, I'll tell you a little later, but he, you might say, is part of the royalty of this business. That's just a little clue oh, I'm going to give him. <laughs> <laughs> You're so great. Mr. E, I'll be back with you in a few All minutes. Right. Now I'm going to go over here and see if you can guess who this is. 
Oh, you know who this is anyway. That Dick. Oh, you spoiled it. I wanted him to think I was a celebrity. You are, Dick. To me, you're a celebrity. Thank you. And here is Mr. G. Howdy, Mr. G. How Hello, are you? Very fine, thank you. I don't know whether they're going to be able to hear you through that mask. Well, I'll talk louder. I can assure you, this is a face you would know anywhere. It's a gentleman who occasionally uh, has all the symptoms of a cold, but not really a cold, huh? No, not really, Faye. I, I feel terrible. I'm using up some of my best expressions in back of this mask. <laughs> my number seven, particularly. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. G., uh, you're going to sort of delve full-fledged into television now, aren't you? You're going to... Mr. G has made many, many pictures. Yeah, that's true. A, and plays. A little over 200. Mm -hmm. And a lot of plays. And last night I had... Uh, I was in Chocolate Soldier, you know, on TV. Uh -huh. And I had quite a thrill with oh, that. Oh, I it was it done so beautifully. Because now you have tipped it to all the people who saw Chocolate Soldier. Oh, my goodness. Night. Why can't I keep my big mouth shut? <laughs> I thought because it was closed <laughs> over, it was shut. <laughs> uh, Faye. Yes. Uh, you're having a wonderful party. Thank you. But uh, what about food? I mean, uh, oh. the calories, you know. I... Didn't you see the food? No. Well, this you... I got to show you. Come on over here. Yeah. I've really got something well, for you. Wonderful. Wait, you'll see. I... <laughs> Look at that. I got all the fixings that you start with. This lovely set that Carol Stupel came over and, and let me have. I have one like I said that I always use. And look at this, a ham. Oh, boy. What? How could you have a party without a ham? And look at here. Hey, how did you see these rolls in this little basket? Isn't that sweet? There's a nice trick, ladies, to use your straw handbag to put the rolls in. And here we got cranberry sauce. And of course, to go with cranberry sauce, what can you have but a beautiful turkey? Hi, boy. We'll get to you a little later. And look at the salad. Isn't that pretty? Mm. Now, mm. that ought to do it. And of course, plenty of friendly, sparkling Pepsi-Cola. Turkey and fixings, how can you have a party without Pepsi-Cola? Hmm? And if you're having a party, I hope you have lots of ice-cold Pepsi-Cola waiting for you. That bright, brisk taste and that peppy tang just add up to more bounce to the ounce. So be generous with your Pepsi-Cola. You can afford to enjoy Pepsi all you want because that big, big bottle gives you more for your money, too. So whether for a party or for everyday use, why take less when Pepsi's best? Isn't that right? Now I have another lovely lady to show you, so if you'll just come along with me. By the way, how do you like my dress? I'm kind of showing it off. Jane Derby kind of outdid herself tonight. Hello, Hello. Miss C. Hello, Faye. That is a beautiful dress. Isn't that pretty? Yes, Faye's really kind beautiful. Of pretty too. I love it. <laughs> We're kind of the dark and the light of it tonight. Yes. Miss C is somebody that you will all know. Miss C sings. Miss C also has much more exciting news than any of us here. Miss C has a beautiful four-month-old baby. Yes, I have. A little girl. As a matter of fact, I was very happy because we had a little boy. Yeah, that's three years old, isn't that yes. right? Yes. It's always nice to change off. <laughs> I'm very jealous, you know. I've only got one. I just got Scoop, but I, uh, oh, I must I've say I'm Oh, I've pictures of him. He looks like a wonderful child. He is. I'm prejudiced, but he is. <laughs> I hope he's having a good time. He's at a Halloween party tonight, too. Listen, Miss C, I must tell you, Sings. As a matter of fact, I remember last year you sang Carmen out at, in Utah in Salt Lake That's City. That's right, yes. To rave reviews. You've seen her in pictures with the famous Mr. Crosby and a lot of other people. And Miss C is going to sing for us in a little while. I might also add, I must say that's a devastating mask. You look wonderful, isn't, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it divine? <laughs> She's also married to one of the great men in the theater, a man named Mr. H, Mr. M. H. I'm sure by now you know who it is. But just in case you don't, I'll show you. Come along now. I want you to sing for us. Miss C. Have I given it away yet? Have I called anybody by their first name? No, I you don't haven't. Know. I was listening. Not at all. All right. I'm going to sing for us. Mr. E, will you play for Miss C? Why, gladly. Wonderful. Tremendous inspiration. <laughs> Is it all a dream 
the joy supreme that came to us in the gloom. Oh, no, it isn't a dream. It's love in blue. Thank you, Kitty. And of course, that's lovely Kitty Carlisle. And the gentleman she's married to is Morris Hart. You all know that. And guess who they're... No, first I think I'll show who this is. Guess who this is. This, of course, is the Duke himself. Royalty, <laughs> musicians, Duke Ellington. Thank you. Duke, that was really lovely. And thank and you. <laughs> and here's a very beautiful girl you all know, Joan Blondell. Say hello to your friends, Hi. Joan. Of course, now I'm wondering how many of them uh, you guessed out there. Did you guess all of them, huh? Did you guess all of them? You did not either, so don't try to tell me you did. I like to think that we fooled you a little bit. Of course, I'm so glad you could come my party tonight. Well, I'm so pleased to finally see Mr. Ellington after so many years. We made a picture together, you know, years ago. What did you do? What was that? It's called Murder with the Vanities. Oh, did you see that? No. I was oh, just about to rush in and say, yes, yes one of my favorite ones. <laughs> 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 well, it's nice to see an old friend again anyway. You know what I want to see you do? What? I want you to say, play Carmen here at City Center. That's what I want to do. That's exactly <laughs> what I think you ought to do, too, Kitty, because in the first place, Kitty looks like Carmen. Oh, you know, yes. thank you. Thank you. It's a wonderful idea. Waiting you all to come here, and it was nice being together. By the way, where's Mr. G? Hey, Mr. G! <laughs> Very good. Of course, this is Billy Gilbert, the famous Billy Gilbert. You recognize the face, Billy? I just think you ought to give him one sneeze. That's wonderful. Hello, yeah. <laughs> thank you. And thank you very much for coming to our party. And I hope if you're having your party of own of your own that you'll have a wonderful time and serve lots of friendly Pepsi Cola. Bounce to the ounce for all the gang, cause Pepsi's a bubble with that wake up tang. Where the fun's a sore, and that's where Pepsi's born. So much more fun, so much more zest. Why take less when Pepsi's best? Friendly, sparkling Pepsi. Ice cold and waiting. And always a big, big bottle. Get Pepsi. Get more for your money. Pick up several cartons tomorrow. You know, um, I never had so many celebrities on my show before all at one time, but I, um, uh, I didn't feel like they were real celebrities because you all know them so well and, and I'm privileged to know at least a couple of them real well for a real long time. I hoped you enjoyed coming to our party as much as I enjoyed having it. Uh, oh, I wanted to show you this. I'm going to um, give this away tomorrow night at the New York Horse Show, which is opening tonight. And it's the trophy for the International Jumping Contest and I'm kind of excited about it. I can't show you too much because this kind of beautiful silver kicks light. And I'm afraid you'll think that, uh, that your set's burning up. So tonight's Halloween. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. And kids, don't worry about those hobgoblins. No matter what anybody tells you, there is no such thing. Good night. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.